Welcome to Movie Shortens. Today we're going to explain to you a 2018 sci-fi thriller movie called Level 16. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. In a dorm at level 10 of a dark and windowless building, some young girls play games and others talk to each other. When the lights go out, they immediately change their uniforms into white sleeping dresses. Vivian tells Sophia that she will be the first to be adopted and she will not go without Sophia. After that, the girls line up along the wall in the hallway in front of a sink. Each girl puts something inside a white jar on their faces and washes it in front of a camera. All of their actions are observed via cameras. When it's almost Vivian's turn, Sophia accidentally drops her jar. As Vivian helps Sophia pick up the pot, she misses her turn, making the alarm bell go off. Vivian panics and asks Sophia to explain to them and says that she's clean. However, two Russian-speaking guards drag Vivian out while the other girls face the wall silently. Some years later, in a dark room, the young girls learn to be clean and proper. They understand the lesson by heart and read it out smoothly. Before going to bed, Ava tells Vivian to be careful with Miss Greta's questions. Vivian uses her hair clip to carve on one more line on the small board behind her head. The following day, Miss Brexel informs them that they will move to level 16, the last level in that school. After finishing level 16, they can meet their new families. A guard takes three girls to Rose Hall, Ava, Rita, and Vivian. After getting inside her room, Vivian reunites Sophia. Ignoring Sophia's warm welcome, Vivian announces being the leader of this group because she has all the necessary qualities. At night, after taking the vitamin, the girls have their meal. When going to the restroom, Vivian sees Sophia wandering and looking for something. After Vivian opens the restroom door, Sophia is already there waiting for her and wants to apologize for what she did in level 10. Suddenly, the bell rings. All of them gather in an empty room. Miss Brexel, the school manager, appears and gives each of them lovely dress with their names. She says that it's a present for their excellent behavior and asks them to wear it when going to bed. All girls can't read their names because the school never teaches them to read or write and warn that the air outside this school is toxic. After all of the girls go to sleep, Sophia suddenly sits up. The next day, while Vivian and Audrey are washing clothes, Sophia asks Audrey to switch their work to talk to Vivian. She advises Vivian not to take the vitamin at meal break. Then Ava came and asks Vivian to help her make the bed. Ava asks if Sophia is not clean, which makes Vivian angry, saying there is no friendship in this place. At night, her turn to take the vitamin, Vivian realizes they give them a blue pill, not the normal white one. Therefore, Vivian follows Sophia's advice. She keeps it in her mouth, then spills it out to the toilet. When the other girls are sleeping at night, Vivian calls Ava. But Sophia says that Ava can't wake up because the vitamins are sleeping pills. Sophia tells Vivian to pretend to be asleep if the guards come. All of a sudden, two men enter the bedroom with Miss Brexel. They take Vivian and another girl to a nice room. Then along with Miss Brexel, an old wealthy couple comes inside the room. After being presented with the two girls, they choose to buy the other girl, not Vivian. After returning Vivian to the bedroom, they take another one with them. Vivian tells Sophia that the sponsors don't adopt them but purchase them. Sophia suggests escaping, but Vivian refuses because she thinks that the air outside is poisonous. Later on, the guard comes back to take Sophia. Vivian runs out of the bedroom and tries to open the main door, but she can't. Luckily, the alarms don't go off as usual. She hides behind the wall when realizing Brixel and the guard are coming. She successfully returns to her bed before the guard brings Sophia back. The day after, Sophia reveals to Vivian that she has stopped taking vitamins since level 13, and Vivian is the only one that she tells. After that, the girls are injected with flu vaccine, which makes Vivian more suspicious. She shows the doctor about the bruise in her back and gets treated. At night, Vivian talks to Sophia about the blue pills, making them sleep right away after taking them. They plan to escape in the dark hour, when girls from the other halls can't see them. However, they need key card to open the doors. Sophia wants to ask the other girls to escape with them, but Vivian refuses. When Sophia still hasn't finished her talk, the bell rings. The next day, Vivian pretends to talk to the doctor about his nice glasses, the movie night, and the actress Vivian, who she was named after. She notices that he has a key card. During break time, a girl suddenly has a seizure and vomits. Ava wants to call the guard, but Vivian stops her. That sick girl has a big bruise on her arm. So do the other girls. Sophia claims that it's the effect of the injection and wants to tell the other girls. However, Vivian disagrees saying that nobody will trust them. Next, 
Sophia says that the guard with a walking problem came to their rooms in a dark hour to touch the girls. When Sophia still hasn't finished her talk, the bell rings. It's time for a movie. Surprisingly, the film actress Vivian is shown, following what Vivian asked for a favor from the doctor. The next day, Vivian refuses to take another injection in the doctor's office, so the doctor injects her something, which makes her dizzy and everything becomes blurry. Later on, when Vivian and Sophia are talking loudly about the plan to take the card, Ava pays attention to them. She decides to report them. Miss Brexel then locks Vivian in a box and goes back to her room. Then the doctor comes. He suggests decreasing the level to 12 because there are only some girls left. This leads to an argument between them. That night, Sophia doesn't sleep. She's holding a rope in her hands. Then the bedroom door opens. The limp guard enters the room and tries to touch one of the girls. Witnessing it, Sophia strangles him with a rope from behind. Then she runs out of the room to the laundry. The guard catches her, chokes her with his hands and knocks her down. However, she bumps his head with an iron and takes his card. After that, she runs towards Vivian. When she tries to open the box with the card, it doesn't work. The alarm goes off. Sophia has no choice but to run away, telling Vivian to keep believing her. Later on, Miss Brexel takes Vivian to a room where all of the girls are waiting. Because they can't find the card from Sophia, they question them. But nobody admits to taking the card. Miss Brexel angrily asks the guard to take Rita to the punishment room and warns them that the school will seriously punish her daily until she can find the card. Then, she forces the girls to take the sleeping pills, including Vivian. When the other girls are sleeping at midnight, Vivian tries to stay awake by using her hair clip to stab her hand. She looks at the card and finally finds it in Sophia's headboard. After escaping the bedroom, Vivian finds Brexel in a doctor's office. Miss Brexel holds a needle saying that she'll take Vivian to see Sophia, but Vivian has to take the vitamin. Knowing Miss Brexel is lying, Vivian hits her head with a lamp and stabs her with a needle. Then she goes to the bottom floor and finds Sophia in a cell. They move to an operating room where they find the skinned corpse of Rita. They scream and realize the doctor killed her, not punish her. Sophia takes a scalpel and insists on coming back to rescue the other girls while Vivian waits for her at the top floor door. Sophia interrupts the lesson of Lily Hall telling them that they need to wake all the girls in level 16 up as it's order of Miss Brexel. At the same time, Vivian follows someone to an ice room. She accidentally touches the screen, and an advertisement follows up. It turns out that they take the girls' skin for facial transplants. After gathering all of the girls, Sophia explains to them the real purpose of this school, but nobody seems to believe it. Suddenly, Vivian drags injured Brixel in, forcing her to tell them the truth. They also find out that Brixel had skin surgery. After putting her in the box, Vivian takes the girls to the escape door. Right after Ava opens it, the alarm rings. While other girls succeed in going downstairs to the street, Sophia gets caught by a guard. Vivian tries to help her by attacking him with a scalpel and pushing him down the building. Sophia is also injured. As another group of guards come, the girls run into the small street alleys. Sophia and Vivian manage to hide in a shed, knowing it's Vivian. The doctor then tries to convince them to return to school. He claims to save the girls from poverty and from their birth parents who sold them to him. Getting angry, Vivian cuts her face with a scalpel so that they can't use her. Finally, the doctor is taken aside by the guards to meet their boss. The following day, the Russian-speaking emergency rescue service finds Sophia and Vivian injured in a shed. They bring the two girls out. When Sophia and Vivian are outside, they both immerse in the beauty of sunlight and rain. They hold each other's hands and smile happily. Subscribe to watch more videos like this and don't forget to turn on your notification. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.